Today we will learn about epithelium tissue of animals. In search of food, meat and shelter, animals move from one place to other and perform different kinds of movements. Along with this, organs present in animal body perform different kind of movements. For example, heartbeats, up and down movement of lungs, blood flows in the blood vessels and many more. Can you tell us how such different kind of movements takes place in animals? Let me tell you. In our heart and lungs, muscle cells are present. These muscle cells contract and relax due to which different organs of our body can move, by which body organs are able to perform necessary functions. We know that a specific function in the body is performed by a specific group of cells at a definite place. This group of cells is called a tissue. For example, blood and muscles both are tissues. The different functions of the body are divided into different tissues and this is called division of labor. On the basis of function performed by tissue, animal tissue is classified into epithelium tissue, connective tissue, muscular tissue and nervous tissue. Now, let's understand the epithelium tissue of animals in detail. Epithelium tissue is the tissue that covers the body of an animal and provides external protection. The organs and cavities present inside the body are covered by epithelium tissue. Mouth Alimentary canal, lining of blood vessels, alveoli of lungs, kidney tubules, skin and many more are made up of epithelium tissue. To keep different body systems separate, epithelium tissue forms the barrier between different body systems. The cells of epithelium tissue are tightly packed and have very less intercellular spaces. Therefore, this tissue forms the continuous layer. They have a small amount of cementing material between them. Substances that enter and leave the body pass through any of the layers of epithelium. That's why there is permeability between epithelial layers which plays an important role in exchange of substances between body and external environment and exchange of substances between different organs of the body. Generally, an extracellular fibrous basement membrane separates all epithelium from the underlying tissues. On the basis of function performed by epithelium tissue, epithelium has different types of structures. The organs of the body where substances are transported through a selectively permeable membrane, their flat cells of epithelial tissue are present. These are called simple squamous epithelium. It is a very flat and delicate, that's why it forms a delicate lining. Lining of the mouth and esophagus is covered with simple squamous epithelium and the body's protective cover, the skin, is made up of simple squamous epithelium. This epithelium performs transportation of specific substances. To protect the epithelial cells of skin, from wear and tear, many epithelial layers are present in the skin. Since the epithelial layers of skin are arranged in the pattern, it is called stratified squamous epithelium. This epithelium 
protects our body. Organs of the body where secretion and absorption takes place, for example, in the inner lining of intestine, long epithelial cells are present, which is called columnar epithelium. It helps in crossing the barrier. This epithelium secretes intestinal juice and absorbs nutrients. Columnar epithelium present in trachea has hair-like structures on it which is called cilia. That's why this type of epithelium is called ciliated columnar epithelium. These cilia move, that's why mucus present in trachea moves forward and nasal passage becomes clear. Inner lining of salivary duct and kidney tubules is made up of cuboidal epithelium. This provides them mechanical support, secretes saliva, and absorbs excess substances present in urine. Sometimes a portion of epithelium tissue folds inward where some epithelial cells acquire additional specialization as gland cells and form a multicellular gland which is called glandular epithelium. Salivary glands, sweat glands and sebaceous glands are example of glandular epithelium. This epithelium secretes sweat and mucus. Today we have learned epithelium tissue of animals. Mils, 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 mils. Thank you.